Hello, everybody. Welcome to the world of Liz Cross and Todd Ronan from Reality Forecast and at Reality Forecast on YouTube. I'm joined with Liz Cross, and we have seen some people in the news about conjoined twins, and there are some spiritual questions that I thought we could ask for them. Liz, how are you doing this morning? Oh, great. This is something that really interests me because, you know, but, but we have to ask the first question, which is, do they have one soul or do they have two souls? So, but I think it may be different for different twins, but, oh, I can't wait for this probe. And most of these questions came from the Discord and the Patreon forward slash remote viewing and beyond. If you want to get on there and with the, you guys are the brains behind the machine, Ronan, I'm sure you've thrown your own questions in here as well. So I, I'm looking forward to this. Take it away. Yeah, this happens in about, I don't know, like one in 100,000 births. So it's not a new phenomenon, but it seems like it's been happening more and more frequently. And we're seeing more of it because we have social media, I suspect. So I guess, do you want to attack it from an individual join twin perspective and ask them specific questions? Or do you want to attack it generally? Let's just do general and then we'll drill it down. Okay, so... I guess we can ask the collective or source, do conjoined twins have a one soul? Do they share that soul? And do they decide that they're going to be conjoined before they come down and incarnate? Ooh, do they decide? Did, did they decide it was they were going to be conjoined? Yes, that was all predetermined. Do they have one soul? Most of the time, one soul. No, most of the time it's one soul. Wow. What about even if they have surgery? So if they're, if it's written in their, you know, lifetime that they have uh, surgery and they're able to be separated successfully, uh, that is usually two souls, but that's a very rare thing. So one soul can operate two brains at the same time. Brains. Yes, that is correct. Can one, one soul operate multiple incarnations at the same time? Can one soul operate multiple incarnations at one time? No, just one carnation at a time. And yet they're operating two right. specifically conjoined bodies. What is the life lesson, I guess, that Source is trying to convey? When someone incarnates in a double body. Ooh, what is the life lesson that Source is trying to convey when someone incarnates into a double body? Well, it just adds, you know, a much more uh, level of difficulty. It does that. Yes. Is it an issue with having overcome a problem in a past life and they need to have that extra stigma in order to grow? Are they new souls or are they old evolved souls that incorporate into a double body? And I know that's rude, but I'm, that's the way that I think of it. If it's, if it's, are they new souls or old souls? Are they new souls? No, they're, they're generally old souls and usually you know, souls that they're quite, you know, very much isolationist. Uh, they just can't get over the hump of loneliness as a life lesson is what I'm getting. And, you know, they have to go through this to feel, you know, even though someone is attached to you or, you know, even though it's one soul and you have a, a, a two personalities and in one body or sharing a body or, you know, sharing parts of a body that you can still feel insanely lonely. And it's usually the souls that go through life 
in many lifetimes thinking that if only I had someone, if only I had someone. And this is really such a strong lesson, such a strong lifetime that it's not about if only you had someone, the someone is there, the someone is you. And you have to realize that the, you know, the loneliness is not, you can't depend upon others to cure your loneliness. You can only depend upon yourself. That's very interesting. So let's take a look at Brittany and Abby Mm -hmm. specifically. Are they two souls? Are they one soul? Are they two Brittany and Abby? Are you two souls or that's one soul? Wow. What was the soul's decision to come to earth in a conjoined body? What was the decision to come to earth in a conjoined body? Well, it's hard on everybody, right? So it's not just hard on them, but it's hard on the family. It's hard on the education. It's hard on dating. It's hard on relationships. Uh, You know, you're being challenged at every single aspect of your life. Things that we take for granted, you know, and the fact that we can operate autonomously, um, that we, you know, as an individual can date who we want or, you know, be friends with who they want. Can you imagine if you were like this, um, you had chosen this challenge to come down here on the earth plane in this way. And yet, you know, one, one part of you, you know, cause it's one soul, but one wants to go, you know, hang out with a group of friends that the other one can't stand. I mean, how, how does that even work? <laughs> right. Especially with like teenage girls. I mean, how, how does that even work? Um, it's a very difficult existence. I feel like there's a difficulty corridor in the afterlife. And, you know, if you want it super difficult when you're down on earth, go down that corridor and we'll present some challenges to you that you can't even possibly fathom. Does this help level up your karma points if you take on an impossibly difficult challenge and in a body here on earth? No, not necessarily. It's what you do with the life is what it, it, that's what counts. So it's not the problem. It's your effect and the solution that you create with it. Right, right. So it's, it's whether or not you can actually love yourself because by loving yourself, you have to really love another as well, right? It's a very difficult situation. This is why I thought this would be a great probe. Well, here's some from earlier. This is Daisy and Violet Hilton that were joined together. Can we take a look at them and find out if they're one or two souls? Um, were you one soul? I don't feel like they're still alive, actually. No, they're quite gone. They're they're in the spirit. So I thought we would take. Oh expired twin souls or single souls that were conjoined and see what lesson they took in the afterlife. Yeah, this is one soul because the soul is presenting itself to me in hologram form, but has, you know, two personality. And this is also like split personality, right? You hear of people having split personality and that's very difficult mentally to overcome but this is just another form of split personality when they're when it's just one soul i'm almost gobstruck at that realization that there are two people but one soul conjoined let's take a look at these girls here in the plaid shirt Mm -hmm. are they one soul or are they two souls one soul one soul I'm still gobsmacked by Mm -hmm. this. Yeah. Yeah. It's very, 
different, isn't it? I mean, it's like one soul, but two personalities. And it, it's also like, you know, magnifies the learning as well. I mean, if you can really process in this lifetime, uh, you know, as, as a conjoined twin, you can practically, you're strengthening your soul, right? So as you're leaving the earth plane and you're going, you know, into the spirit world and, and you're being told, you know, well, did you do this? Are you staying in at the same ascension level and you have to recreate a lot of this garbage again? Or are you actually going to, you know, ascend into the next level? And a lot of times, and certainly from doing the CTT, and I have been doing a lot of this lately, the consciousness transformation techniques where I'm going into a past life, what I'm getting is the soul is, you know, sometimes looking for ways to accelerate the ascension. And this could be just one way that, you know, tr they try to, or, you know, the soul tries to accelerate the ascension. So most of us here on the earth plane are floating around a level two or a level three, certainly in a human body. And We've been here for many, many, many lifetimes. And then the soul can say, you know what? I know I'm going to set this impossible challenge, whether it's being in a conjoined twin or whatever it is that, you know, is really difficult. And we're going to fast track this ascension. But oftentimes trying to cheat the system, right? Trying to fast track it usually backfires. Well, let's take a look at Chang and Eng Bunker. Mm -hmm. Also early Guinness book of world record holders joined at the, the stomach. Are they one soul or are they two souls? Right. I feel they're past as well, aren't they? Oh yeah. Okay. Cause I have them standing here. Um, it was one soul. They're standing there as a multiple entity, even in the afterlife. Yes. They're presenting themselves to me, how I would identify them uh, according to this particular lifetime. Let's progress them or him. I don't know what the pronoun is properly. <laughs> Let's address them, him forward and find out what was their next incarnation after they died or he died? Um, so they have an incar. Well, they, him, he has an incarnation coming up and he's going to come in. as just one person this time. He says, I never want to do that again. That was extremely difficult. And uh, uh, again, here we go again, right? Just what I said a second ago, uh, the fast tracking and cheating the system, it didn't work. So what is the next incarnation that Chang and or Ang will be incarnating as and where? Where will you end up? I feel like they're going to end up out in Asia, but I also feel like this time or the next lifetime, they may be, uh, or he will be a, a pilot. Not born yet, though. Not born yet. How about Daisy and Violet Hill? Are they reincarnated? Uh, I guess these girls here, the original Hilton sisters, have they, she, her, them reincarnated since passing? No, they, no, they, she has not reincarnated. Again, the soul, and, and don't forget, you know, the soul's, They'll project in hologram form to me, like how I can recognize them. But souls are genderless, right? They, they don't identify as male or female, um, but they may have more masculine qualities or they may have more feminine qualities, uh, but they're, they, they're nonspecific as far as gender is concerned. Now, as they're projecting to me now, I'm seeing both of them. 
joined together, but it's one soul. And again, and again, she just said, I'm never doing that again. What a big mistake. (laughs) I project my time bias on them. So it seems like they should have incarnated by now, having died roughly 80, 100 years ago. Does it take a long time to recover incarnating as a double body, single soul? And that's why it's taken them so long to reincarnate. Oh, is it taking them apart because you're the yes, it's like double the life lessons, right? So whereas one soul would normally have just the single set of life lessons, now you got double trouble, right? Now you you you've compounded the issues, right? You've got not only do you have one set of lessons to get through, but you've got a completely different personality or side to that soul's personality with a completely different set of life lessons. I mean, think about that on a soul level, how difficult that would be to process. We can barely process being in one body now. That's what I mean. It's this fast track. I, I'm going to accelerate it. And it's almost like source says, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Let let them sign up for that and uh, see how they get along. Maybe they will, you know, maybe they will process faster. Someone but- asked a great question on the Patreon. Do these people have a single chakra system or is it a multiple chakra system? Ooh. Uh, do they have a single so- chakra system? No, it's a multiple chakra system. That was a good question. That is fascinating. Liz, yeah. this has been super enjoyable and mind opening and illuminating. I really appreciate your time and for bringing in these, these souls that are accomplishing a difficult journey and trying to become at peace after they cross over. Yes. Yes. And uh, let me ask this one thing before we go. Have there been a pair of conjoined twins that have actually made it into a fast track ascension? And I got to know. So for all of you listening out there, (laughs) somewhere and print this on your soul, when you get up to the spirit world and you say, oh, I know, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a conjoined twin. And uh, just know that right now on on the soul level, I'm getting a no from source as to what any was any set of conjoined twins were any of them able to fast track into, you know, the next level ascension. And I got to know. It's hard to render me speechless, but this one has. Thanks very much, Liz. Thank you. This was great.